Hello everyone, I've been making greenhouse designs lately, so of course I have some optimized designs that I'm going to share with you, but first let me tell you how growing crops in ASA works. There are three sizes of crop plots, small, medium, and large, and the only difference between them is what you're allowed to grow in them. Large can grow everything, medium cannot grow plant X, and small can't grow plant X or crops. In ASE, you would only use large crop plots in your greenhouse because you could stack them on top of each other, making it very space efficient. Small and medium crop plots could not stack in ASE, but in ASA, you can stack all crop plots, so there is really no need to use large crop plots in your greenhouse. Use medium to grow crops and small to grow berries. Then to briefly go over it, to make a crop start growing, you need three things. Water, using intake pipes and water reservoirs to wirelessly supply water to your crop plot. Then place fertilizer or feces in the crop plot to fertilize it. And the last thing is the seed of the crop that you would like to grow in that crop plot. Then it will take a few in-game days to grow and it will start supplying fruit and vegetables after it is fully grown. The max amount of berries that can grow in any crop plot is about 300 and it takes about two hours to fill up. And the max amount of crops in a crop plot is about 150. And this takes about eight to nine hours to fill up. Both of these rates are assuming that you have your crops in a greenhouse and are getting the full 300% boost. A greenhouse in ARC is not exactly what you expect it to be. You can make whatever beautiful greenhouse your heart desires, but all you need to get greenhouse effect on your crops is a greenhouse ceiling over your crop plot. Then almost any greenhouse structure within a seven-ish foundation radius that is attached to that initial structure with the ceiling and the crop plot under it will provide additional greenhouse effect. Each structure gives 15% greenhouse effect, maxing out at 300% with 20 greenhouse structures. So let's get right into this build. So I have two designs here. I have a three by five with like 168 medium crop plots, I think, if you just wanna grow crops and not get berries. And then I have, if you have a smaller tribe, uh, a three by three has like 112 crop plots, which is more than you'll ever need. And then also some crop plots for berries. And I mean, you can put the berry crop plots in the other one also, but I'll show you how to set them up in this one. Uh, I'm gonna start with the three by five because it's very spacious. It's very nice. Uh, it's good for a bigger tribe. It has a ton of room to walk around and access all the crop plots. And you can go ahead and fit between the ramps and through the doors and the doors are facing in. It's fine. You can still get out and that, it's great. Love it. It's sex, honestly. Okay, so we're gonna start here with a pillar. And we're just gonna lower it all the way. And we're gonna put ceilings on top. And we're gonna put greenhouse walls under these ceilings. This is gonna be our floor. And these greenhouse walls will actually provide greenhouse effect. And if you're on a PVP server, go ahead and put pillars under all of these. I'm not just for time's sake like this. Just put it under all of them in case someone blows it up. Then you won't lose your entire greenhouse right away. So then our second layer right here. And this will give us 10 walls. Greenhouse walls will need 11 since we will have nine ceilings. So go ahead and place our last layer here, a greenhouse wall, and the rest of our ceilings. So that's 11 greenhouse structures. And then go ahead and either put foundations if you want a bunch of protection around here or if you want it to look nicer and you're not worried about someone getting under here because your greenhouse shouldn't be really like near base anyway just because it'll be creating line of sight okay and yes you can put the walls down like this in official pvp uh i all my builds will be official builds i prefer building that way honestly and that's just what i play on anyway so Go ahead and put down walls all around just so we can line up our crop plots and we're going to be using the free placing mode because we can place them better with so uh, disable snapping go into free placing mode and line up the right with like the middle of the wall you can get it as perfect as you want and then go ahead and put the other one right here so these this should be like the middle here don't put the crop plots too close so that's like the middle you want you don't really have to go back and check it's not that specific i was just showing you just don't put them too close because when you snap them, it'll be a pain. And we will be snapping some of them close in the 3x3, and I will show you why it becomes a pain and how to get around it and all the problems with that. But for this one, we're just going to put them, we're going to put this one very close to the wall on the right here. But that won't provide any problems because we're still not putting the crop plots close to each other. Go ahead and leave a little bit of space. 
you just don't need to put them pixel perfect is all I'm meaning by giving a little space. And then on the left here, we're gonna have to turn the crop plot because of the collision. We wanna get through our ramps, like by our ramps here. And then we're gonna stack our crop plots. And so go ahead and enable snapping and you can just snap them on like this. Uh, we're gonna stack them up 14 high. You can fit 15 in a two high, like two wall high, but the top one will not get greenhouse effect because it's too close to the ceiling. And then a good practice to always do is to just place these one by one. Because if you do have to put them close to each other, sometimes they'll mess up. And you don't want to have a fully stacked uh, stack that you have to demolish. Uh, that will be very annoying. So just one at a time, 14 high. Okay, so we got 14 high. Get rid of our ladder here. We're just going to place all the remaining structures down. For the doorways, I like double doorways, because for a bigger tribe, this lets a couple people walk through. And then on the ceiling here, we can just put metal ceilings. There's no reason to put glass if we don't have to, because if someone feels like shooting them, we'll lose less. But we have to put greenhouse ceilings over these. This gives us our 300% greenhouse effect. As you can see here, all of these will have it, the top, the bottom, everywhere. It's just how it works. Then to make our catwalk, we will use a double door frame right here to provide support, and it won't block us from anything. We're gonna use these quarter ceilings right here. And then put them all the way around the sides. And then we're gonna use some ramps instead of ladders because the little piece of me dies every time I have to go up a ladder in arc. I hate it. So now we can fit around here, fit around here. We're all good. We can access everything like I showed you earlier. And that's it. If you need to get water in here, I already put an intake pipe down here and I'll show you the range. Uh, it will get everything but let's say it wasn't going to get everything. You can put down a water reservoir. And this blue arrow here shows that it's getting a like water source from somewhere else. You don't have to put it in here to transfer the wireless water. You can put it as far away as these blue arrows show you. So the arrows disappeared there. Uh, if I put it right here, uh, nothing in this range would get water. Uh, if I put it here, crop plots and cookers in this range will get water. Okay, I'm actually not going to show the 3x3 three three exactly. You should be able to build it yourself, honestly, if you just listen to this. Uh, there's like three things I have to teach you, and it's not worth like the extra eight minutes. So this middle ceiling has glass walls all the way around it. These side ceilings have glass walls uh, coming down from the sides, but not on the outside, because if you put a glass wall out here, you won't be able to put a regular wall. So I'll finish off this right here. And this will give us 12 greenhouse ceilings, but I need 13 because I'll only have seven greenhouse ceilings on the top of our structure. So I'm gonna use this triangle roof and corner to give me the last one I need. And then I'll be just fine to put down the rest of the ceilings and then put walls or foundations on the outside here. I basically placed down the crop plots as the same as the five by three. But if I want to place down small crop plots, basically you can replace medium crop plots with two small crop plots. Uh, two small crop plots are slightly bigger than the medium one. Uh, I'm going to have to put these pixel perfect, basically. Otherwise, the last crop plot won't fit. I could have done this earlier, but the small crop, the last small crop plot goes right here. It doesn't have to be pixel perfect on it, but I'm going to to show you why putting stuff close causes problems. So I'm going to go one at a time here. I'm going to put mediums down here, but I just want to show you this. And if we put these here, it's not going to let me put the small crop plot there. I'll have to do it in this order. Yeah, it's even being super special, actually. It's not going to let me do this at all. If it's doing it like this, you're probably just going to have to, yeah, replace them. I'm just showing you this because if you want to squeeze stuff in as tight as possible, I wouldn't blame you. That's what I like doing. So the greenhouse stuff is quite a bitch. 
it honestly is uh if you're trying to squeeze stuff in as much as possible just give yourself like an extra pixel or two and it might fit might work just try again this is why you want to place like one thing at a time just so you learn what's fitting and what's not So these fits, does this fit? That does fit. And if you're gonna test the wall right here, make sure you have two crop plots here. If you just have one down, it won't show you that the wall's not gonna fit when you stack them for some reason. So make sure you stack them like, yeah, so, I mean, we're gonna have to stack these first, then put the wall and it'll be fine. But yeah, to do the rest of this, we just have to stack them in the correct order. It's really not a big deal. And you do that 14 high and you have the same uh, type of 3x3 three three as I've made. I'll show you here how to do the rest of it. Say this is the support here, get rid of that. And I put small crop plots on both sides. Again, you can just replace them anywhere. You can replace it in the 3x5, it's not a big deal. Uh, whatever you want to do. So just go ahead and put down support in this 3x3. Three three. And then a ceiling and then two quarter ceilings so we can reach all the crop plots and then also put a ladder off to the side so it's not in the way of the door. Then go ahead and come up here and you can access all the crop plots. You can access the small crop plots back here and then the small crop plot here. Don't forget you have a medium crop plot in this corner that you can access only like by looking at this part. This is this one, this is another one, and this is a third one. So yeah. I don't need to show you the whole build for that. I'm sure you got it after watching the first one. Uh, this is some crazy, insane four by five with a ton of small crop plots that I made because my tribe kind of wanted it. Go ahead and copy it if you so desire. The orange at the bottom here is the floor and the rest of this is like the ramp and the second layer. If you wanted a bunch of berries, go ahead and copy this. So sorry I haven't been uploading uh, so much. Uh, it's, I've just been playing official. Actually, it came out, my tribe's on Xbox, I play on Steam, but I've been playing official. We got wiped on our first server because three tribes decided to raid us because we were the bullies. It took them an entire day to raid us. Uh, we were up on Alpha Pillar, and it was pretty fun. And then we tried to join a server that was six days old, uh, like real life days, and of course that didn't work out because no alpha is gonna like... Uh, like 30 people joining their server and building a metal base with turrets in like a few hours. They're going to be pretty pissed about that. So we got wiped immediately uh, within like 10 hours joining the server. So we're just waiting for the PlayStation servers to open up and we're going to play on those and see how that goes. Uh, not the PlayStation ones, but the cross-play ones that come out with the PlayStation release uh, today or the, the, the day before, depending on when I get out this video. So... Uh, after we get established on the server, uh, video uploads will come out much more consistently. So subscribe if you want to see those or any other detailed information that I come out with. You, you just don't want to miss it. I'll be having optimized builds like this too. So if you like this, subscribe. Just just, just subscribe. Uh, comment if you have any questions or want to add anything about the greenhouses or the builds. And like if this helped you in any way or you're going to make these greenhouses. And I'll see you later.